It's snowing. Oh, fuck. Test, test, can you hear me? set up some noise monitor so I know I'm not killing locks. I'm gonna go out there to the other side and work on the table. I only need the light picked off from the PSL. So what I'm gonna try to do eventually is try to see squeezing with the homodyne. Because we injected some squeezing into the interferometer, we see no squeezing, we see no anti-squeezing. I mean what the fuck? We should have some squeezing or anti-squeezing, at least anti-squeezing. Now it's uh, back to square one, try to see what we get from the homodyne. We have homodyne for the diagnostic sake, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Align the beam onto the homodyne. Yeah, I actually don't need that many inputs, but I like to look at a certain signal with a certain scope, the other signal with uh, another scope. Right, so this is what we call a balance homodyne detector. So you see there's two diodes here. The key to see squeezing on the diagnostic table is that you reject all of the common mode noise, uh, for instance, a laser frequency noise or acoustic noise, uh, whatever that could come in your LO, uh, local oscillator beam and the uh, squeeze side bands. Once those noise are subtracted between, so like one, one of the diode has a minus sign, so any noise that are common in, the, in those lasers are being subtracted, but it cannot subtract the quantum effects. In the end, you're gonna be limited by short noise. And if your short noise clearance is far away enough from dark noise, that's where you get to see squeezing. You have a local oscillator that acts as a mock carrier light that you would normally have in the interferometer. That's why we picked off from the PSL, which is the interferometer light to begin with. The LO, what we call LO, comes here, round, 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 and here, through here, through here, through here, and bounce, bounce, bounce. So this is a beam splitter, so part of it will go through, but part of it will come here and bounce off this mirror and goes to the other diode and another beam comes from that periscope it comes from the other side of the table goes into ham6 come out of ham6 hit that periscope that bottom periscope come down the flipper will be open hit that mirror hit that mirror and comes right down to the beam splitter part of it goes through and part of it reflects so the beam has to be well overlapped for this to work. So my first to-do item here is to get the LO to balance. So these homodyne, these diodes has to see the about the same amount of power for that to work. Otherwise they're not gonna subtract. Oh no, this one has only two channels. I want three channels, damn it. How much are we balancing with? We need to know that. That's LO power, the other beam's block. Yep, 0.38 milliwatts, that's what we are going to balance the homodyne with. Yeah, balance a bit off, so one is minus 160 and one is 175. As long as they subtract to zero, it's okay. So what's this guy is reading? Yeah, they're not so bad. I want... DC. Yeah, microvolt-ish, that's fine. So that's the trace looking at the subtracted signal of the homodyne. The microvolt range is okay. And yeah, as long as the two diode read roughly the same and subtraction is in a microvolt range, I would call that good. So the next step here is the fringe visibility. I just realized that this is not going to work because <sighs> 
the PSI Olo and the local laser that we use, the seed one, is the frequency is far too different to be doing fringe visibility. What I'll have to do is I have to switch to the Mephisto Olo. I hate plugging and plugging fibers. On the plus side, I only have to unplug one fiber. Oh, God, which one is which? Right now, I don't know what the fuck happened in the PSL, but if the if somehow something changed in the PSL, that affect us too because we locked our beat node to the PSL. Right now, it's just complaining that beat node is slow. I'm gonna go out and figure out what the hell happened in the PSL. Well, damn, that sucks. I hope this is not the end of vlog, but just in case, <sighs> see you next time.